studying and I was focused mainly I would say on harmony I found a book called the musician's guide to polyrhythms and I ordered it about four or five years ago and it wasn't at all what I remembered um, back then but it was the idea that a musician should be able to play three against two four against two Five against, you know, you should be able to speed up or slow down and create polyrhythmic layers of time that, you know, and, and I started to think that really is the way to think of time because I'm a little bit bored if I hear a solo and it's da 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 not to say, I mean, that's every solo. That's, you know, that's Bird, and it's been so, it's been so perfected, and I'm not downgrading it, you know, but I just have a hard time creating within that exact structure, and of course I do, and there are solos that just have eighth notes, but I want to always be able to stretch as you so kindly could show that I was creating groups of fives and groups of six like Mike Brecker you know he'll create you know unbelievable polyrhythmic things that you know when you look at them on paper you go really that's he did that and and to me the whole answer is that you have a very relaxed relationship to one and you know where the big one is coming so it really doesn't matter where you put any of the notes within there if you're keeping to the you know a flow of the bigger one 
So you should be able to create all different, you know, durations and placements of notes within that, which in a way is the same way I try to think of harmony, that it's not, you're not thinking of every note, you're thinking of a simple line moving through the changes and all these other notes you create are but you're really trying to get from this point to this point which isn't too far from this point you know it's either down a half step or a whole step and you're kind of targeting the next point and then you have total freedom of the notes that you want to use because you can always resolve it and bring it into that note you know it doesn't have to be with even within a chord scale as long as you're really focusing on that landing point i try to make every note which i always think is the reason we love mike brecker that every note he plays is a different dynamic level and a different timbre and a different attack and release you know and I try to do that on the accordion which is to me the thing that you can't really do on the piano because as soon as you press the note down it does just hit the string you know it's very hard to elicit the note that it will come out you know, you can't really draw notes out. It has to be, um, you know, shot out of a gun. And <laughs> I don't say that in a bad way, but that's what I really miss on the piano that I do have on the accordion and that I try to always bring the notes out as if they're, you know, very connected and, you know, being drawn out rather than attacked, you know. I, I do the things that sound natural in my head and then I can somehow pause that to happen on the instrument. Mm -hmm. 